Hello again. Um, as we go through birthday week, I just wanted to show you another project using the Festive Fancies board um, that's launching on Monday. Um, it uses the cracker again because this is one of my favourites. And this is a wine bottle holder, so it makes a lovely covering for a gift. Um, this one I've used white on white with a bit of embossing. Um, so I'm going to show you how you can extend your cracker both so that it's six sided and so that it will take a bottle. All right, so if I pop this one out of the way, excuse me a second, you get to see the top of my head. So, um, now, a little thing about the board. If you can see on my board, I've got a silver line across here and I've got a couple of marks here and here on the board. The reason for that is this line here, show, or this little mark here, shows me where the bottom of the cracker is. And this line here is for me to line my paper up at the top, well, card. All right, so what I'm gonna do is you start with an A3 piece of cardstock. Um, I'm using the Centura Pearl here, and you put it face down so that the uh, pretty embossed side is on the um, shiny side. And what I'm doing is I'm lining the cardstock up stock up against the edge of the board here and with the silver line at the top. Now my board has got lots of stick and spray on it um, and lots of glitter and fluff and all the rest of it because I've used it quite a lot. All right so um, once it's stuck down you can then score your cracker but what you want to do, and that's why I put these little marks and it ran around the side as well. So what I'm going to do is extend that mark onto the card here so that I know where the base of my cracker is. Because I'm only going to score this top half and ignore the bottom half of the cracker. Alright, so, and with having some stick and stay on, I can lift it up and put it back down so that I can get my start in. All right, so gently come down to the bottom so that you just come down to where it's going to shape. All right, and then we're scoring all of the outside. And all of the inner lines as well. Now, you've got your gluing tab here, and when you bring down the line for the gluing tab, don't bring it back in, just leave it on the outer edge. And then bring the next line down and stop it where it feels like it's going to start going inwards. And do that for all of your school lines. and so for the top half you're doing that exactly as you would for making the cracker to put in all of the lines okay and that's it, all right? So we're only scoring the top half, and if you look at it on the right side, you can just about see, and I didn't score that bit very well. Let's put that back in. Yeah. A bit better, right. Okay, now because the um, wine bottle is six sided, we need another two of these. So if I pop that to one side for a moment and bring in another sheet of card, all right, and we're going to put that on this side because we want the gluing tabs as well, which is why that mark that I had on this side is also on this side. So we want to line it up with the edge again, line it up at the top. And I just put that in using a, a Sharpie pen. Um, you could probably use a Spectrum Noir pen as well because they're permanent um, alcohol. And then just transfer 
that little mark so that you can see where you need to go down to. All right. And then we're going to score that one. But we're only scoring the first two parts. All right, so bring it down. And so that's one and two. And we're just doing those first two because that's all we need is an extra two pieces. Okay, and then we're putting our score lines here. Right, and take that bit off and you can see again, you've got two pieces of gluing flap. All right, now the next bit uses, and I hope you've got, because it's a fabulous board, is the big score. All right, and I'm gonna pop my big score in. I'm really sorry if you can't see all of this because it goes above and beyond where the camera is. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a cameraman with me to help me out on this. Right, so what I've found is if you put it against the um, box lid side of your board, one of the lines will be in line and the other line slightly out on here. So what you want to do is find the line that is in line, which is this one here, all right, and take it all the way to the bottom, all right? And every other line is going to be in line. Whoops, she says, and it doesn't work out on this one. But where you can find that they are in line Take it down to the bottom. Okay. And then where it's not in line, all you need to do is just move it slightly. All right. So that it will be in line. And score all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so now when I flip this over, this has taken your lines right to the bottom of the cardstock. Okay, and then we'll do the same with our other piece. So find where it's in line, it is on that piece this time, take it all the way to the bottom. That one's in line, that one isn't, so we're just going to move the cardstock just slightly, try and keep it parallel with the edge. And you'll find that just by moving it a couple of mil, the lines that aren't in a groove will suddenly fall into a groove. All right, so when you turn that over, you've now extended all of these lines all the way down to the bottom. Okay, now what you want to do um it is where's my pencil excuse me where the bottom line is of your scores you want to measure 24 centimeters down okay and you do this on both your two and your four so 24 centimeters and then 7.8 centimeters beyond that and i'll explain why in a minute but if you just do those two marks on there and you do them on here as well. So we've got 24 from the top. And then 7.8. Okay. Right. So cut these out. All right. And cut all the way down the score. Uh, the gluing tabs and then fold and burnish all your creases and you'll end up with this my blue peter moment again right now you'll see that where i put that mark the 24 centimeter mark and the 7.8 centimeter mark the 24 centimeter mark is the bottom of your um 
bottle holder. All right, so you want to score that line and fold and burnish like you would the others. And the 7.8 beyond that is your cut line. So that's um, you, th this bit here forms your gluing flap. All right, so now we've just got a couple more cuts to make on this. Um, and one of them is the gluing flap. So where the 24 centimeters is, we just wanna bring that in a little bit where it meets, all right, and cut off this extra section, which is in the base, because we don't need that. And do the same on your main. Okay. And as I did with my um, standard cracker, to get these tri or diamond pieces cut out without using a craft knife, Fold it down there so that it's in half and then just cut out those little sections. Okay. Do the same on your second piece with the two the extension. Right. Now what we want to do is we want to glue these two pieces together. All right, so that you've actually got a six section cracker effectively. So I'm just going to use a tape pen for this at the moment. That good rub. Right, so now we have a six section cracker effectively um, with a solid base. Now, these you want to just snip up. These are going to be the gluing flaps which create our base and it's actually quite a nice solid base but for the moment what we want to do is while it's still flat is we'll decorate the front now to do the one that I've done what I did was I cut um, some pieces of Centura Pearl to 23 and a half centimeters by four centimeters and if you do six of those that gives you your six panels all right and what I've done is I've just used a little bit of Distress Ink worn lipstick in this case um, to highlight um, the embossing that I've done, which was from the Nordic Christmas Jumper embossing folder, which is an A4 embossing folder, which you kind of need because 23 centimeters is longer than um, eight by eight. All right, so if we just stick these to our panels, I think my tape pen's about to run out, so I have got another one. I just kind of wanted the instant stick rather than the doing it with the tacky glue. Excuse me if I end up with red fingers.
Tell I didn't use this very often. Oh. There we are. I tried to get all of my pieces of cardstock in the same place in the embossing folder so that they, the patterns match up quite nicely. did was I embossed these little panels here and cut just a couple of mil inside the embossing line so that it makes a slightly smaller panel that fits the top of the cracker. So all I'm going to do is glue these in place as well and I embossed them. Nope that one's finished. It's dead. Let's have another one um, and then all I did was emboss them again with that um, Nordic Christmas jumper and a bit of distressing to give them a bit of colour lift it off and I think the red matches quite nicely with the Scandinavian look as well And of course, you don't have to use um, Centura Pearl for the panels across the top. You could use your um, new A3 cardstocks that are launching on Monday as well. Um, that's if there's any left. I know the um, Flutterby one has been selling incredibly well, um, but it is beautiful. So I can understand that. But then they all are. So... Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos with the cardstock, you know that um, the Scandi one is just stunning. And the two from the uh, Shabby Chic range, wow. Awesome. All right. So if we just stick those like that. All right. Now what we want to do is do the side. matching up a little bit anal on this I'm sorry let's do it that way shall we because then we can see it Now, you know I said earlier about this 7.8 centimetre bit. The reason for the 7.8 centimetre bit, and it would have helped if I'd folded them. Um, oh, I have. There we go. Right. Is if you take um, opposites, so your opposite sides of your hexagon, these two should meet and actually form a really nice strong base, glue together, and they're the right length so that it has, actually forms a proper hexagon so that you don't end up with a wonky hexagon all right so what we want to do is then just glue all of these in pairs so if we take our first pair all right so if i just do this one here okay and i'm just going to on the opposite one put a little bit in the middle now, the reason for that is so that the next layer sticks to it. So you just do put that one opposite that one and pop them together. Okay. Like that. Ooh, she says. 
fiddling about. Ish. Okay. All right, and that little bit in the middle will then stick the next one down to it. So if we then do this, and then just put a little bit on the opposite one in the middle. So we bring that one across there like that, and then this one across here like that, yeah? And then this one will come down and stick to that little bit of glue that we put there. And this last pair, obviously we don't need any glue on the opposite one. So we just stick that one across there like that, and this one across here like that. And you've got your perfect hexagon. And because it's effectively six pieces of card, it's really quite solid. Okay, now I haven't got another bottle to put in, so um, I've just left it. Now, I put a little tag on the um, ribbon, so you could have a nice little um, gift tag. That, um, that tag was created using this section here, which is um, the, the tag on the cracker side of the board, and you can do it as big or as small as you like, which is lovely. All right, so I've just put the tag on to a piece of ribbon, and then we just get our piece of, piece of ribbon and wrap it around our cracker. And this is where you just fiddle about with it and get it as tidy as you like. And move your tag around so that it's not in the way. Might be worth you write your tag out before you uh, put it on the ribbon. And you can take more time over your bow, but you get the idea. All right, so there's just a lovely... Um, bottle cover for you to make as a as a gift wrap thanks very much